Hey everyone. Today we are going to learn how to securely store secrets in AWS Secrets Manager using Java. In most modern applications, we deal with sensitive information like database credentials, passwords, and API keys. Instead of hard coding these into our code or storing them in properties file, we can use AWS Secrets Manager. This is a secure, reliable, and organized way to store and manage secrets, which is why it's commonly used in many organizations today. Here is the agenda for our learning path. In this video, we will create code to store a secret in AWS Secrets Manager using standalone Java. In the second part, we will look at how to retrieve those secrets. Finally, in the third part, we will adjust the code for a Spring Boot application. So, let's dive in. This is a Spring Boot project with minimal dependencies. To add support for AWS Secrets Manager, we need to add AWS SDK dependency for Secrets Manager. This SDK provides various classes and API to interact with AWS Secrets Manager service. Refresh the project and it will download and add the chars to class path. Let's create a new class where we will write the code to store a secret. Create a method store secret that will be responsible to create a new secret in AWS. This method will accept two arguments, a key and its value. AWS Secrets Manager stores data in key value pairs where value is a secret or sensitive data and key is used to fetch that data. You need to share the key and not its value since it is meant to be a secret. To interact with AWS Secrets Manager, we need a Secrets Manager client. This client is like our gateway to AWS Secrets Manager. To set it up, call Secrets Manager client.builder to create a builder. Then configure it with AWS region where you need to create the secret. Set the AWS region using region method. Pass the region as a string. You can get region values from AWS console. In this case, we will be using US East 1. Provide US East 1 as a region. Next, we need to configure AWS credentials. This is required for AWS to verify who you are before allowing you to interact with any of its services. For accessing any AWS service such as Secrets Manager, S3 Buckets, SQS, X-Ray, etc., you need to perform this step, so understand this very carefully. AWS credentials consist of two parts, access key and secret key. To get these two values, you need to go to your AWS console. Click on your account name. Select Security Credentials. Scroll down. Here you will see Configured Access Keys. I have not yet created any access key. So, click on Create Access Key. Since I am logged in with root user and creating an access key for root user is not recommended, it is showing a warning. Ideally, we should create a new user and use its access keys with restricted permissions. For learning purpose, it is fine. Click on the checkbox that I am aware of the risk. Create access key. Here are the access key and secret access key. Copy each of these one by one and paste in notepad. Back to our code. To set the credentials, secrets manager client gives you credentials provider method. This method accepts an object of type AWS credentials provider. Let's define a method that will return AWS Credentials Provider. AWS Credentials Provider is an interface, so we need to create an object that implements it. Static Credentials Provider is one such class that implements AWS Credentials Provider. It has a static create method which accepts another object of type AWS Credentials. To create an object of AWS Credentials, we will use AWS Basic Credentials. It has a static create method which returns an object of static credentials provider. We need to pass access key and secret key as argument. Assign this to a new variable. This variable will be of type AWS basic credentials. Pass this to static credential providers create method. 
return this call the create credential method here finally call build to create an object of secrets manager client now in order to create a secret we need to call create secret method on secrets manager client create secret method will accept an object of type create secret request which shall have the key and secret value that we need to store and to create its object use its static builder method followed by a secret string that holds the actual secret data like a password and then the name of unique identifier or key that you will use to access the secret finally call build for creating its object assign this to a new variable and pass this request object to create secret method now create a main method and call this method pass the key and corresponding secret values as arguments we are all set to creating the secret before running let's go to the aws console and verify there is no secret with our specified key let's check the region it is us east 1 run the program it will take some time to complete since it is interacting with aws and creating the secret completed back to aws console refresh look we have the secret with the same key that we used in our program created here click on this and let's check its value it should be root root it is so our program worked to recap in order to store a secret in aws secrets manager we set up the aws secrets manager client configured aws credentials created a request to store a secret in the coming videos we will see how to retrieve secrets from aws secret manager and make changes required for spring boot thank you for watching